Hi, I'm Caroline Bateman and I'm going to show you how to use text-to-speech on an iPad or iPhone. And there are two ways of doing this. I'm going to show you them both and then I'm going to show you how to enable them because when you purchase an iPad, they don't arrive with this functionality enabled, but it's very simple to switch it on. I am opening an email that I've received this morning. And there are two ways I can get the iPad to read it for me. The first is to speak selected text. And how I do this, I have to select the text first. I do this by clicking anywhere on the screen that I want read. And when I do, this little box pops up. And I then see I have two blue dots, one at the beginning and one at the end. And I use my finger to move these blue dots to select the exact text that I want to be read out. And when I've got the text exactly right, I see that there is a speak option. Our education system relies on students being able to read to gain knowledge, write to express what they have learned. Be and a pause option. You'll notice there's also a select all option, but I would suggest if you wanted to have the whole of the email read out, you'd be better off using the speak page option. And you can use this anywhere on an iPad by swiping two fingers from the top of the screen down. Then this menu Hello. comes up. Caroline Bateman, how can technology transform learning? Yesterday at 9 for some reason, the text-to-speech and the recording software aren't working together. So I will show it to you by another kind of video. But for now, I'll explain the menu options. While the iPad is reading the text, you have the following options. Slow down, pause, skip to next section, speed up, close the menu and stop speak to page. I've included another video here so you can see two fingers coming down the screen to activate speak, pa speak page and you can see the text being read in real time. From Rachel Leachty, Tivo, Caroline Bateman, How Can Technology Transform Learning? Today at 9.47, How Can Technology Transform Learning? Comma read, comma write to express what they have learned. Learned, be assessed by reading, recalling and writing under time pressure. As a result, anyone struggling with literacy automatically at a disadvantage across the... I mentioned earlier that when you buy an iPad, this functionality is not switched on. So you need to go into settings and scroll down to general. In general, you hit accessibility and now I will warn you, do not switch on voiceover. That, this is more for people that are blind and it gives you an awful lot of um, descriptions of what's happening. So you select speak and you can then select speak selected or speak screen, which is what we've looked at. I have it so it highlights the content. So you have an immersive reading experience and then you can select your voices. And if I have a look at the English voices that are available to me, um, English UK, I only have Daniel downloaded. Uh, so let me have a look at Moira, which is the Irish voice. And I can even check to see what her voice sounds like. Hello, my name is Moira. Yeah, I'm going to use that. I think that's fun. Uh, we're going to come out. We're going to have a look at the speed and I'm going to increase the speed so it's going to be a bit Speak selection faster. read selected content. So I can see how fast that will be. So now let's go and see what difference that makes when we're in our email. Read to gain knowledge. I also want to show you a limitation of speak page functionality. If you're in the internet, where there's an awful lot of information on the page, but you don't want it read, then you are far better off using speak selected text. Here's an example of how unhelpful speak page can be in those instances.
Let us know you agree to cookies. We use cookies to give you the best online experience. Please let us know if you agree to all of these cookies. Yes, I agree. No, take me to settings, homepage, accessibility links, skip to content, accessibility help, sign in, notifications, news, sport, weather, iPlayer, sound. It would be far better to use speak selected text in this instance. Photosynthesis plants make their own food using photosynthesis. I hope you noticed it used Moira's voice and the speed was quicker because of the changes we made in settings. That completes the quick overview of Text2Speak's functionality on the iPad and iPhone. You access and you switch on the functionality in exactly the same way in both the iPad and the iPhone. So in summary, there are two options. You can either speak selected text, which is the best option if you only want to read part of the page, or you can speak page, which is the best option if there isn't lots of superfluous information on the page. It's also worth mentioning that you can no longer read Kindle books using either a speak page or speak selected text. You used to be able to, but they've changed the way they format the books, so this is no longer possible. I hope you found this video useful. Please share it with anyone you know who could benefit and check out our other videos. I'd be very grateful if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as doing so really helps others find the information. If you hit the bell button once you've subscribed, you'll be notified when I create new videos. Let's work together to help all learners achieve.